What's up, YouTube? Me, the Brocock, and the Hulk for a quick video. 50 yards. But before that, y'all, you know what I hate? Oh, I love my Brocock, but, and this is not just a Brocock, why put a carbon fiber tank on an air gun? and set it at two, 200 or 250 bar. That's, that's 4,500 PSI all day long. Now, with that being said, guys, uh, 50 yards. Um, told you guys that I had tried this gun with air arms and um, the JSBs and the, the JSB Kings and the JSB Hades. Uh, I'll let you guys see the JSB Kings. I don't think I shot the Hades. But anyway, today I am shooting the H&N, it says Slug HP, but we're just gonna call it Slug. Um, and it is, it is, Man, I don't know what the weight is on it. Size and weight at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. All right, anyway guys, I said before this thing gets 40 shots. Not shot this at 50 yards. It's uh, halfway kind of sighted in at 35, which or 30 yards, which is what I've done last time. So I'm gonna put 10 of this slug, 10 of the NSA slug, and 10 of the Barracuda Hunter Extremes, and see how they do. Now, if they don't group well. I'm gonna throw the JSB uh, back in, the, the Kings, to see how they do, because we know they shot pretty good at 30 yards. And this is mainly because Mix reached out and said, hey, what's it do at 50 and 100? We're probably never gonna find out what it does at 100 unless I'm going to some contest, but we might find out 50 and 75. Today is 50, so, Let's see what the gun will do. Now, gun is loaded. We got King, I mean not Kings, we got the uh, H&N slugs in it. And I wish I knew the weight. Anyway, 50 yards. It's gonna be a little play around here because like I say, I've never shot it at 50. So we're gonna have to see where it's hitting and then what we'll do about that. So. Let me turn you guys around. Let me zoom you in. Now I'm gonna pause you. All right, guys, you need to be glad I paused you on that because you guys would have been dizzy by the time I got done. All right, so let's do, see the three, uh, the row with the three targets. So let's do the one in the middle and kind of see where we are, okay? All right, get ready for the first shot down range. Uh, let me adjust it a little bit. Center target. Well, to be honest, uh, oh, I think it hit at the very bottom of the target. So, looked like it was centered kind of good. All right, so. Let me bring it up. All right, 
Let's see what we do this time. Height looks right, it's a little bit to the right. Not gonna move it, let's try it again. Not bad so far. That's four shots so far, let's see. See what I can make it do. Pretty, that's a pretty decent group. And then, I mean slugs, that's a pretty decent group. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's doing too bad at all. kind of lost count. Uh, that one's a bit to the left. All right, that was the last one, guys. All right. So the h &Ns, yeah, I don't think they done too bad. If I was hunting, I'd have had meat on the table with every shot with that, even with the first shot that was low. So, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the NSA slug. Now, the NSA slug is 36.2 grain. This one, I do know how much it weighs. Man, it's a whole lot colder out here than it looks. My hands are just like, dude, are you crazy? So for those of you who wondered if Nash Vegas gets cold, it does get cold. Loading up the magazine, guys. So hang tight with me. We're gonna try, we're gonna try and get all 40 shots in. Well, we're gonna try and get 30 in. I don't think we really have to uh, do the JSB Kings because it grew pretty dang good with these H&N uh, slugs. And for real, I ain't had too much luck with real good groupings on the H&N, but I didn't think those were too bad. All right, guys. We're loaded, locked and loaded. And we are gonna go for the target on the left, same row. All right, trying to get the gun where I want it. All right, now that time I, I didn't see where it went. Try one more. All right, so that one is a little bit low and to the left. Not gonna make any adjustment though. That one looks like it's right above it or right below it. That one is about the same height, but it's to the right. That one looks like it's to the right, as far as what I can see, guys. Maybe not. I hope the camera's picking it up real good. Well, 
I got a pretty decent look through the scope, and it looks like I only got two hits on that target. Yeah, I, I think they're all hitting kind of low. I'm gonna aim at the top of that target and see, see what happens. Actually, I think it hit the target above it. So, back down to where I was, Amy. I guess it's, it don't like the NSAs. That's what I'm gonna say. I really think all of these are, are right below. So that was it for the NSAs. So we're going to say right now that the H&N slug is winning that competition. Alright, so now we're shooting the H&N Barracuda Extreme. These weigh 28.24. And these are the ones that kind of look like the Hades. They were before the Hades, by the way. All right, we're getting this magazine loaded up. Actually, I'm gonna stop for just a second. I gotta at least put one glove on, man. It's cold out here. That feels a little bit better. Got my left hand covered up, even though my shooting hand is the right. But I, I don't think I could actually drive these pellets if I put a glove on the right hand. All right. We're getting there, guys. Getting it loaded. All right. Here's the last pellet. And I've never done this before. Never shot in gloves, but I'm putting the other glove on because my hands are cold. All right, so we're gonna go to the target to the right on the same row. Now, since this is a pellet, this one may be high. Did a little rookie move there, guys. Sorry. All right. I think you guys seen that. That looked like it was dead on, but at the bottom, so it was actually low. That one was right above it. That was me shaking, but it was it was the same level. I don't think I was shaking on that one. Uh, that one looked like it was right on the one that hit the bullseye on the bottom of that shot. I kind of think that was on that first, oh no, well, on the one that just went before. That was at the bullseye. So, these aren't doing bad either, especially with me being cold as freaking crap. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Uh, these might give the JSBs a run for their money. Still not bad. I know you said, Kenneth, this should be group. Well, man, I'm freaking cold. I don't care if it should be 
if it should be grouping better. It's grouping well enough the way I feel. All right, that was the last one. So, tell you what, I'm gonna leave you guys looking. I'm gonna bring you back though. I'm gonna bring you back. All right, I'm gonna walk down there and get the target and come right back. exactly what you can see but this is our first one this was the H&N &N. then we actually got three of the NSA in the in the target the rest is all low and then these are the H&N uh, Hunter Extremes I'm no, sorry there so all shots was on the target three I pulled to the left you remove those three and this right here this little centerpiece is an inch so we would have been just outside of MA, uh, MOA pull, take away my three pulled man I'm just telling you it's cold out here so I'm not upset at all with how the Brocock did today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not going to sit down and talk a whole lot. Just going to say I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Shoot straight.